What up, guys? Caterpie TCG here today, doing a deck profile of Passimian. Um, I honestly don't know where this deck list came from. Um, I think a Facebook group. I'm not sure, but here's this list. Um, it's a pretty standard Passimian list for nowadays. Um, but yeah, so we play one of the attacking Passimian, um, which does 10 or 30 more for each of your bench Passimian, and then we play three Power Huddle Passimian because these, um. Do 30 more damage um, to your to evolutions. So essentially, instead of Team Blade doing 10 and 30 more, they can do 10 and 60 more. So this can hit 190 to evolution Pokemon, uh, not the basics, um, with three um, Simians, and then with a Choice Band that's 220. Um, and then it also hits Zorark for weakness. So you only need two Passimian in play, plus the team play one active, to be able to, uh, knock out a Zorark GX. Um, yeah, so this deck is pretty cool. Um, also, keep in mind that Rock Curl isn't actually that bad of an attack either. Um, this deck does play counter energies as well as DCEs, so if you're behind on prizes, you can Rock Curl, um, which to a Zorark, if you have other power huddles in play, that's... 60, 100, that's 200 if you have two um, power huddles on your bench um, with Rock Curl. So with a choice band, you can one shot with Rock Curl um, if you're desperate or if you miss the team play um, because there's only one. Um, next, we have two Muse. Um, this is low HP, but it is a one prize attacker, unlike Mew EX. And it can um, copy. Uh, team play. Um, so this means it can hit for Psychic Weakness, which means it can kill Buzzwolves pretty easily. Um, and then a 2-1 Octoluga line. Um, Abyssal Hand is really good at like getting extra cards because you can send out your hand really fast with this deck without even trying, um, just by trying to get your Passimians into play, especially getting the team play one. So Abyssal Hand is super useful. Um, and you already play a Booker Hill. I can't talk. Brooklet Hill to get your Passimians in play, so Rim Raids can also be um, achieved, I guess. Uh, one type of Coco, this works super well with counter energies, and it spreads damage um, onto the field so that you can hit um, numbers easier. Um, and against Duskman and Necrozma, um, and Volcanion, actually, um, type of Coco is very valuable. Really, against any deck that, like, takes a while to power up and it's sort of more of a ramp deck, um, Tepo Coco is very valuable. Now against like Darkrai and um, Raichu, which I have seen, um, Passimian hits for weakness, so. Um, Monster Udo, this is really your only thing that you can do against Bulu, because Bulu really wrecks this deck, but with Watch and Learn, if you're behind on prizes, it pr helps a lot. Um, Against Bulu, I would really just advise um, fighting against their um, Vickavolts, and then just trying to go for a two-shot against their Bulus. Um, and sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. But I would say, for the most part, um, go go against their Vickavolts, kill their Vickavolts. Um, you will you will eventually be behind on, be behind on prizes, so you can get some, a couple with Watch and Learn, and then um, maybe be able to take out the last couple prizes with your Passimians. Um, one Lele to get Pokemon out, or Pokemon supporters. Um, you really want to avoid using Energy Drive with this deck because there aren't that many energies and you need to save them for Passimian. So, Energy Drive is an attack that you always want to use. Um, whereas in a lot of other decks, Energy energy Drive is available. Um, not saying you can't use it, but... Force Sycamore for draw support. Um, same goes for Cynthia, just draw support. And N is draw support. Uh, two Guzmas, so that you can um, switch your opponent's stuff. Guzma is kind of how you fight Bulu, like I said. You Guzma their Vikavolt, and then Vikavolt is weak to fighting, so I believe. I might be wrong about that, actually. Um, but I believe it's weak to fighting. And then um, you can fear retreat with Tapu Koko. Um, like I said, Enna's draw support, and two Gladion, so that you can um, you can always get this Passimian out of the prizes. Um, and also, sometimes you prize your other Passimians, your power huddles, and that's vital. So you can get those as well. Um, if you prize both Gladions and your um, team play, 
Simeon, I would pro unless you're in a cup, I would probably scoop. Um, but if you're in a best of one, I you might as well play it out or ask for an ID. Um, even though that's probably unlikely if it's an early round. Three Brooklyn Hill to get out your Pissimians and sometimes your Sudowoodo, but also your Rim Raids. Um, pretty important. Uh, four puzzles to recycle your stuff so that you can keep attacking with Pissimian. Four Ultra Ball to get those Pissimians out. Like I said, this deck is really reliant on being able to get them out so that you can start attacking, so there's a lot of ways to get them. Rescue Stretcher is another way, especially to get out your, um, your team play one. And then you have three free retreaters um, automatically with Tapu Koko. Um, and the Muse, so typically you can send those up and then Risker Stretcher, DCE. Uh, three Choice Band to hit even harder numbers, um, being able to do a lot of damage with this deck is kind of what makes it shine. Uh, three Float Stones, um, so that you can retreat your Octillaries and your, um, Sudowoodo and, uh, your non-attacking Passimians. Um, this is also a way that you can, um, if you don't have your Muse or Tapu Kokos, to send up something with a float stone and then rescue stretch of the Passimian if it gets knocked out. Two nest balls, because you need Passimians in play to start attacking. Uh, two field blower to uh, combat Garbodor, and um, fighting fury belts are a pretty big pain in the butt, so uh, field blower gets rid of those. Uh, two energy lodo, so that you can um, constantly attack. Um, if you miss an attack for one turn, it's pretty. it's a pretty big deal. But if you miss an attack for two or three turns, you usually lose because you can't really keep up after that. Um, one counter catcher because oftentimes you will be behind on prizes um, early on um, or late game. So counter catcher um, can sort of steal prizes. Um, also another tool against Bulu. And a special charge because the six energies we play are all special energies. So this can recycle those. And then um, we play 40 CE and two counter energies. Um, keep in mind that counter energies um, can be put on the attacking Passimian to use team play, so you don't always have to put these on like Sudowoodo or whatever. Um, so yeah, this is our deck. Um, it's pretty good. I wish I could give credit. Um, I might be able to give credit in the description for this list, but Passimian. Um, I know I'm excited to see this deck do sort of well. I've been a big fan of it since it came out. Um, me and one of my friends were actually testing it for Charlotte. Um, it would have actually been a decent play, but neither of us had any power huddle Passimians for Charlotte. Um, actually, I had I had my three. Um, he didn't have any. Um, and it was bad. It, it's not that great, and we thought it was bad. So, But yeah, leave a like and subscribe to Caterpie TCG for more deck profiles, and um, sometimes I do openings and stuff, and occasionally I'll do like news videos, pretty rarely though, um, and I sometimes do Yu-Gi-Oh stuff, so if you're a Yu-Gi-Oh player too, watch out for that, but typically I don't do much other than deck profiles for Pokemon, um, and without further ado, um, I sign out.